Welcome back. Last weekend was St. Patrick's Day, so I headed into downtown Ephrata to talk to some people who were in the mood to celebrate. Take a look. Ephrata residents hit the streets on Saturday for Ephrata's first ever St. Patrick's Day pub crawl. We have great memories of a fun Irish bar in New York City called uh, Pig in the Whistle. And we were there on a girls' on a girls' weekend. And we were at that pub every, at least every night, if not every other night. And drinking and drinking Guinness and Jameson, and you know this is just an excuse to uh, remember those great, great times. In our little Ephrata resident Mark Wonky said that the idea for the pub crawl began at a health awareness meeting as a way of encouraging the public to get outdoors. Trying to get people to get out and walk and see places downtown that maybe they haven't seen before. You know, they go from home to work and back and they have their blinders on and not seeing what's going on. So there's new businesses in town and there's some that have been there for years that people forget about. A total of 14 downtown businesses participated in the event by handing out raffle tickets and offering specials on food and drinks, including corned beef, potatoes, and of course, plenty of Guinness. We started at Bricks and Stone, and then we've been here, and now we're headed to Wendy's. Uh, the Bistro, and then we did Basin Street Pizza. We, we pretty much went everywhere tonight. I'll drive. <laughs> they don't have a chance to get together, and every this is a good excuse to do it. We're gonna have a good time tonight. We've got a band. We got corned beef and cabbage for nine ninety five, and we have the pub crawl that's coming through. So it's we're gonna have a dance off. We're gonna have a lot of things going on tonight. The crawler said they enjoyed being able to go out with friends in their hometown and hope the pub crawl becomes an annual event. Might as well do it here. Yeah, yeah we live here. And then they'll do it again and again and again. Yes. <laughs> yes. The better crowd than I thought we would. I thank whoever organizes. So if you see these businesses, tell them thanks. And hopefully we'll have many more to come. And it just sounded like a lot of fun. Oh, I like to support the town and I didn't have anything else to do. <laughs> a little Irish weather didn't discourage the participants from gathering at the historical Nat Washington House for a chance to win prizes donated by local businesses. Six, three, one, seven, eight, three, two. You get a twenty dollar gift certificate to Mommy Yum Yum. Woohoo! <laughs> Although many cited supporting local businesses as their reason for braving the drizzly weather, most were just looking to have a little fun. For iFiber One News, this is Sarah Brewer reporting. Some good times. We'll be right back with more after this.